What's up, YouTube? What's Louie? I have a story time that y'all did not expect at all. If you've been a subscriber for a long time, you most likely have not knew this at all. But you know, we, we like a little family here, so it's like, why not just share this information? But I'ma just break down this story time to y'all because the ending is real crazy. The end of the story time, is it's very crazy. I was young. When my mom passed away, I was seven years old. So this happened when I was young. But me growing up, my mom used to always smoke cigarettes. I never really thought anything of cigarettes. I just, you know, I'm growing up with it as a kid. I thought it was a normal thing. Did not care about it. But during the time period of me growing up while she's smoking cigarettes like this, um, I used to always hang out with her a lot. She used to bring me wherever she goes. Um, I was, I'm the baby in the family, you know, I was her youngest child. I have three older brothers, but you know, I'm her youngest child. So you know how moms be with their youngest baby, you know? Like she was one of them very protective moms. She was like a real life mama bear for real. She brought me wherever she would go. If she want, if she could bring me to the club with her, if, if it was a possibility, she would do that. That's how attached she was to me. During this time period, we always hang out. You know, I'm, that made me a mama's boy. Like we hanging out that much, that made me a mama's boy. Like when I smile and stuff like that, you can probably just see all of mama's boy in my face. Like when I do my videos and everything like that, you can see it. My childhood was always happy. Like I ain't really have like no sad stuff. And like, I was just always happy. Cause like me hanging out with her, I always really like had something to do as a kid. If I was not with her, I was outside playing with friends or I'm playing sports, love sports. So let's fast forward to the year of me being seven years old. Now, here's the crazy thing. I'm just now turning seven. My birthday is in September. She died November, beginning of November. We fast forward until when I was seven. So she's catching the sickness. She's smoking so much cigarettes that she's getting sick. And she's going in and out the hospital now. And eventually doctors, you know, told her she has cancer, lung cancer from smoking cigarettes. He was at our auntie house. And what was so weird that I never got was she was laying in bed for weeks just laying in bed and i'm like why don't you get up i never knew like why she never got up like she's alive at this point but she just was laying in bed and you know i'm still playing and, and stuff like that i just thought she was healing from her sickness but the crazy thing is nobody then told me that the whole time she's laying in bed it's basically her deathbed she's just waiting to die and i guess they didn't want to tell me that because you know, I'm a kid, I'm young, and they didn't just want to tell me. So I eventually found out that she, you know, she at the point where she can't walk. She can't really do nothing. She could barely talk. She's just in her deathbed waiting to die. She ain't old. She was in her 30s, young 30s. So when I found that out, I'm like, dang, my mom's about to die. Like, you know, I'm just shocked. I'm like, from cigarettes? So now I know my mom is just waiting to die. You know, it's slowly, like she's just in bed, just sleeping, waking up, sick, in pain, waiting to die. Eventually, you know, um, I looked into cigarettes. You know, I was just, I was just so curious about the whole cigarette situation. I'm like, how? I'm gonna go buy my first pack of cigarettes. So I asked everybody like, why does cigarettes do this? Smokers lose about a decade of life. They like, cause of the tobacco, you know, it's addictive. It's bad for the lungs. It turns insides black, something like that. On your arm, your shoulder, and your neck. I was hearing all types of stuff. Makes them feel better when they're sad. Lets them calm down. It helps them relieve boredom. It helps them get through you know, their day-to-day -day life. That's an important part uh, of the addiction. So I was looking more into it and I'm like, yeah, okay. Cigarettes is, is, lit, is really, it's way worse than weed. Why is weed so illegal when cigarettes, like people just dying from it. I was saying all of this as a kid, you know, cause you're like, 
Uh, my, mm, I'm not gonna get into that. But I was saying all of this and took as a kid, just hella confused. What everything gets real crazy at is here. So we get a phone call saying you need to come to your auntie house. Emergency, hurry up. We already know what time it is. We go to our auntie house and I come out the car. It's a lot of people outside just staring at me. And I felt so uncomfortable. And you know, I'm just, I have this sad face. I'm like, oh. Gotta go through, like, you know, it's just that that type of feeling. So I'm walking, didn't let anyone in the house, but I go in the house and um, I see my mom. It's literally that day, it's that time. That pain really was getting to her. I, I go in the room, I hold her hand. She says she loves me. I tell her I love her too, expressing all our feelings, really just saying goodbye. It felt like a movie, how this really happened. Holding her hand as she dying. And so like, when I let go of her hand and I leave out the room, 10 minutes later, my mom passes away, she dies. So I go outside and it, it just, this just felt like a movie, how that happened. I'm holding your mom's hand when she's really about to die. Like that's just don't like, it's crazy. I'm telling you like that can cause some trauma. It can, it can really get to you depending on how you can handle it. And I don't know how in the hell did I handle that as a young kid. I go outside, go in the backyard. I didn't even cry, but I was really sad. I didn't talk for about three weeks. People thought something was wrong with me because I don't know, I was playing. I was like dead in the inside, basically. I didn't, I was just there. But I didn't say nothing, nothing for at least three weeks straight. This is how I got over it. If you're wondering how I got over something like that, this is how I got over it. because. Nothing, like, I just realized that this is life. Like, life is really just so fucked up. It's, it's a messed up place, and people just gonna die. Things you love, animals you love, people you love, it's, it's gonna happen. And I know that, like, sadness, sadness can really fuck you up, like, really bad if you don't know how to handle it well at all. It can really cause depression. Sadness. Sadness is something that every human have to learn how to control because it can really mess you up so bad. Being heartbroken, it can really mess you up. So it's like, I just realized, you know, this is how life is. You know, yes, I had to go through the pain. It took some time for it to wear off. But, you know, I realized that, you know, things like this happen because it's life. Um, life ain't gonna always go how we like, as we all know. And so it's like, I'm gonna just have to go through this pain and deal with it. I can't be sad my whole life because my time's gonna come eventually too. It's gonna come a day when I have to pass away. Born just to die, it's a human curse. So it's like, you know, I have to go through this pain so I can be happy. I'm gonna, I want to be happy, you know? Nobody was never there to talk to me really. I just, I just found my own peace of mind and everything. I jumped into the whole meditation phase and all of this I'm not gonna jump into. But yeah, if someone was to come up to me right now saying, I don't like your mom, you know, like, just talk bad about my mom, it wouldn't phase me at all. It wouldn't because I know how to control my emotions very good now. I'm very, like, I just know how to do it. Control my anger, everything, if I, if I really want to. Sometimes you just gotta let your emotions out though. It's okay to cry, it's okay to get mad and pissed off. You gotta let it out sometimes. Cause you don't wanna hold that in for too long. <laughs> you really don't. But yeah, that's the whole story of how my mom passed away. It, it felt like an awful movie. It, it just was, it was crazy. It was a crazy story. Story. It was a crazy life, a part of my life. Hate is very temporary. Love lasts long. Even after someone passed, the love still gonna be there. The hate vanishes. If that person slap you right now in your face and you love that person, you might hate them for the moment, but when they die, all that hate that you have for them when they slap you gonna vanish and you gonna remember the, the happiness that you have with that person. So that just shows you Happiness is a key in life. But yeah, that's the story of how my mom passed away. I really do miss her. You know, I really do, but yeah, it's life.